What's going on guys, Eternal Wind back with another Ghost of Tsushima video and today I have yet another build that has been requested by one of you. Now, buddy, I, I'm not even going to attempt to butcher your name here, I'm just going to say 20BP019. So this is going to be a build for you if you would like for me to create a build specifically for you. Please feel free to drop a comment down below and I'll see what I can do. This guy requested a samurai build with strong damage that increases resolve. Now, one thing that I think people get twisted is the fact that, you know, they did increase melee resolve gains if you have two of them to 50%. Um, but there are videos out there that show just how useless that is because you're losing damage just for a little bit of extra resolve. And there are ways to get tons of resolve in this game while still doing monstrous amounts of damage. And I think if you prioritize resolve increase, you're actually crippling your damage. Uh, so we are not going to go that route. So as for the gear, you know, we are using the Moon Katana because it's just the strongest thing in the game. Um, right now, we are using it with Melee and Oni. Now, I'm not going to go double ultimate. The reason why is because just by having one stack of Oni damage, we are going to be able to strip Oni Archers with, you know, their Stagger Gauge with one Moon Master uh, Cancel combo, which is really nice to keep them from teleporting and, and just making quick work of them. Uh, plus, it's only a 10% reduction when you're using your ultimate against them, and everything you do to Oni is increased. Ghost Weapon Damage, Assassination, uh, Melee Ranged, Status Effect Damage, all that is actually increased. Um, I think Oni damage, I think people overlook it. Uh, it's really freaking good. Um, so we're running that with Moon Master, obviously. Now, I typically don't like Way of the Flame, but because we're using Raging Flame as our class ability, and it's got kind of a nasty cooldown, this will allow us to, to have something to use uh, for our ultimate while Raging Flame is on cooldown. Um, so we're going to use Way of the Flame for that for increased damage for our ultimate. And then the best single legendary I think that you can put on this um, to help with increased resolve gains without losing damage is going to be the Forbidden Medicine. Um, again, I think this is one of the best legendaries in the game. And even after all of its nerfs, it's still really good. Um, we are using Blast Radius and Status Effect damage. Now, I swapped out... Black Powder Bomb for Flash Bomb because Flash Bombs still give resolve gains. So that's one of the, re the requests that he had for, for this build. Um, and Flash Bombs are underrated. Uh, you can do tons and tons of damage while being safe when you're using Flash Bombs plus the resolve gains. Um, and then we are using Status Effect Damage because we are using Raging Flame as our class ability. As for the, the charm, it's going to be a Samurai Charm with Melee and Ultimate. Um, if you wanted to, you could drop ultimate to get a second stack of Oni, but I feel like just by having one of each Oni and ultimate, this is a, a pretty well-rounded build for all um, intents and purposes. Uh, and then, you know, Fire Master, obviously, for Raging Flame. Unfortunately, it doesn't work with Way of the Flame. Um, this is going to make your class ability do tons of damage. Um, and then Blessed Strikes just to keep your health topped off. Uh, there's something real satisfying about being one hit away from death, popping your class ability and your ultimate, killing a bunch of shit, and being full life at the end of it. As for our Ghost Weapon 1, um, with this being a melee build, we obviously are going to go for Kunai uh, with melee damage and Ghost Weapon damage, super massive and hidden blades. And then for Ghost Weapon 2, um, you know, you have some options here. Uh, you could use a Gord if you really wanted to with damage reduction and injured resolve gain because resolve gain was, was requested. But I think this is not going to be as good as the be-all, end-all fake legendary uh, with, with the smoke bomb. The reason why is because uh, the utility that the, the smoke bomb brings with being able to revive no matter what the condition, um, as long as you're not in the eye, uh, is really helpful you know if you're playing with teammates and then munitions uh so even though you are lacking like physical injured resolve gain uh from the gourd having munitions on here is going to allow you to i think 
get even more resolve through your bomb pack. Um, you can get flash bombs and concussion bombs, and obviously concussion bombs can heal you, which is phenomenal. Heal you and your teammates. Um, strip you of uh, being poisoned, your teammates of being poisoned very quickly. Um, so I think this utility works works better. Uh, if you could get munitions on, on the healing gourd, I would rock that, but you can't. Um, obviously, I love Caltrops, but it doesn't really work uh, with this particular build. You know, you can get munitions on, on Caltrops, but it's only two munitions as opposed to three from the smoke bomb. But if you want more ghost weapon damage and something else to utilize Firemaster, you could definitely throw this on just as it is with uh munitions instead of deep bags but without having any way to get it back quicker you're you're not going to have uh, a steady amount of munitions as you will through the smoke bomb because of cooldown reduction and cooldown reduction on kill as well as lucky um if lucky procs and you have absolutely no bombs you can just throw a whole bunch back to back to back you know if lucky keeps procking for you and get munitions for you and and your teammates um, so that's why we're running smoke bomb for this techniques um, Doing the most amount of damage that we can through raging flame and deep strikes Huge deep strikes fan. Uh, I hate that. It's on perk two, perk one I wish it was on perk two so that we can equip two legendaries uh, To still have Hachiman's frenzy um, and then perk two for the samurai suck when you're not going uh, a parry or dodge build so we're just going to give ourselves increased resolve um as for ghost weapon 2 and sudden resolve if you wanted to go that route you could like if you wanted to replace lucky i guess with sudden resolve you could um because still having cooldown cooldown and kill you know you'd get your munitions back uh you know still pretty quickly but um i don't like the fact that if you have any resolve at all it doesn't give you any resolve you have to have zero resolve for that sudden resolve perk to pro uh, proc which is why i don't typically run it um you get way more resolve through moon master canceling enemies than you think you do uh so i just don't think that it's necessary all right guys that's gonna be the gear and techniques let's go ahead and show off the build so we'll just do a quick demonstration Nice damage with the uh We'll get them grouped up here like this. Throw out a flash bomb. Now look at the amount of resolve I got there and through Moon Master King's one. Nice amount of damage. He's freaked out because of that. demonstration i mean obviously you'll get uh pickups from from killing enemies but it's not a ton and you can see we're already kind of low on bombs especially with the nerf from 12 to 6 concussion bombs all right fuck this guy that was horrible tonight i don't think what we'll do is kind of guys are y'all right y'all you don't want me That was wacky. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and do this, get some bombs, we'll do a flash. I actually thought I was gonna get hit by that, but I didn't. The other good thing is these guys love to teleport. How do you get them to stop teleporting? There you go. Alright, on 
the last little section here for the build demonstration. I'm gonna try to get the bigger guys in here for this. Guys. I'm not really worried about the rain right there because of that. And now we'll go ahead and pick up some more. Just like that, you run in and pretty much shit on everything. Um, even though I'm not a huge fan of the Samurai's Ultimate, um, it can be pretty potent, especially when you rock it with either Way of the Flame or Raging Flame. But alright guys, that's going to be an example of the build. Um, 20BP019, I hope that satisfies you. Um, again, if you would like for me to create a build for you, please feel free to drop a comment down below. And if you enjoyed the video, smash that like button. Subscribe to stay up to date on all of my content. I appreciate you guys coming out, and I'll catch you on the next one. Doses!